one, action. Hello, giant pumpkin people. Welcome back to the greenhouse, right, Cade? Yeah. <laughs> so, Cade, in the last video, you would have saw what happened, buddy. My pumpkin looks black. Yeah, that's right. But we're not done, are we? These yeah. are both our pumpkins. These are both Cade's mine. We got one left in the greenhouse. We haven't seen this one for almost a little over a month, and I believe the last time we showed this one, it was a thousand pounds. So, is it growing? Yeah. It is still growing very slowly, but it is growing. And we wanted to do a little video today because the way offs are starting. So it's the way off season. Good luck to all those other growers out there that are growing their pumpkins. Hopefully everything goes heavy. We also wanted to know, well, since it's in the greenhouse and you can see the plant's still here, that pretty much means that we're going to be not taking it to a way off, which the Oklahoma Giant Pumpkin Growers have one this weekend. We say good luck to everybody. Hopefully all of our pumpkins go heavy and they set new state records. But for us, this one's still growing and Cade has a football game tomorrow. So we so decided. there's like two reasons why we're not gonna That's take right. it. That's right. So we got, we decided we're probably gonna be heading out on September 28th. So hopefully this girl can make it that long. I don't know if it will. We got some issues going on with the pumpkin, but first, Without further ado, Cade, you want to do the honors? Pull that sheet off. We'll give her a good look. There she is. And from the last time. It looks a lot bigger with yeah, the sheet off. It does look bigger. Give her a hug, Cade. Last time you gave it a hug, oh. it was about a thousand pounds. This time, she's a little bigger. She's been growing probably not quite 10 pounds a day for the last 40 days, so we're looking at maybe 1,300 pounds, something like that. But, will it make it till the end? That's always the question in Kansas, and a big reason why we're not sure is this stem over here, and if you can bring the camera over, we'll give them a look. If you remember the last time our stem was looking nice, not so much anymore. We got a good old hole in her here. She's sapping, so we've been keeping lots of fans, kind of captain and uh, there's some fungicide called captain and there's some uh, sulfur and we also put a little mixture of hydrogen peroxide and uh, some other stuff on it so it, just trying to keep it healthy but there you go you get a good look at that guy it's not good looking <laughs> you can see you fit two fingers in there which might not be a bad thing because at least this way we can keep it dry on the inside dry on the outside at this stage is probably not going to grow much at all. However, we do have a beer bottle over here. This is what we don't do measurements on it anymore. One, it's too hard. Two, it's not growing a whole lot, so it's no big deal. The way I do it is I put a little mark and I put a beer bottle beside the pumpkin. So last Sunday, I put this beer bottle here and it was probably about a half an inch away. I could fit my finger through it. And right now, it's maybe an eighth of an inch away. So we're going to keep an eye on that beer bottle. We'll see if the pumpkin can grow to the beer bottle. Maybe do another video before the end of the season. We'll see if that, that pumpkin touched it, so we'll know whether or not she's still growing. But since last Sunday, she grew. So hopefully we'll see either the Colorado Giant Pumpkin Growers or the Iowa Giant Pumpkin Growers here in two weeks. We'll have to make a decision soon. Right, Kay? Yeah. All right. Keep her growing, guys. Good luck at all the way-offs.